it looks like I mean it's got a lot of the characteristics of a death cap which is uh, uh, which can kill you if this isn't a death cap there I'm guessing that there are some people who would argue that this is this is an Amanita pantherina Okay, so I made one more stop on the way back, and I th I'm guess I'm probably at about 7,000 feet in elevation, maybe even a little bit lower than that. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I jumped out. I didn't even I didn't take my phone with me. I didn't take uh, my camera, any of my stuff with me, and I just uh, hopped out and looked around a little bit, and I found two different mushrooms that are kind of interesting. They're not the Gyromitra montanas that I've been finding today. But they're, uh, they're two that look kind of similar. And uh, to the entree and I, you could uh, easily, uh, you could um, mix these up. And so uh, one of them is poisonous, very toxic. And the other one is, is one that's edible. And so I just want to show you what I have. Okay, so this is the first one that I found. And notice that it's got that white top, a little bit brown, with just a little bit of scabbing right there at the top. And you flip it over and look how white those gills are. They're super, super white. And then if you look at the base right here, it's got a vulva. That is an Amanita. And uh, I'm not sure exactly which Amanita it is. Um, it looks like, I mean, it's got a lot of the characteristics of a death cap, which is, uh, uh, which can kill you. If this isn't a death cap there I'm guessing that there are some people who would argue that this is this is an Amanita pantherina but uh, regardless it is an Amanita it's got some pretty serious toxins that are in it um, that I've heard of people taking certain kinds of Amanitas and parboiling in them and getting them to where you can eat them without them affecting you and um, but my recommendation is that you just leave the Amanitas alone altogether. Uh, there, there's a lot of trouble in the Amanitas, and you really got to know your your Amanitas well. But that's the first mushroom that I found. This is my first Amanita of the year that I found, and it just shows that the mushrooms are transitioning into the summer mushrooms. Amanita is more of a summer mushroom; it's not technically a spring mushroom. Here's the other mushroom that I found. See, looking at the top. You, you can see it looks like it's like scabbing on the top, but it's, it looks a little bit different, a little, little bit browner. And uh, this here is a, a lecanum. And you can tell by the scabbing on the stalk that's right here. It is not an amanita. It's got the pores. It doesn't have the gills. And uh, this one's a little bit dry. Uh, normally it's not scabbed like this. Normally it's, it's a lot smoother with a brown tinge of orange that's in it. And um, I know I, I, uh, I usually find Lachinum insignia here in Utah. I don't know if this one's a uh, Lachinum insignia. It doesn't look quite right to me for that. Could be, uh, Lachinum insignia is the Aspen bleat is the common name that people call them. Could be a birch bleat, and I can't remember exactly what that one was call, is called, but this is likely uh, an edible. I mean, I would feel comfortable taking this one and eating it if I wanted to. But with all those uh, Gyromitra Montana I have, I, uh, I don't know if I will. But that's a fun mushroom. But don't confuse these, okay? These two mushrooms are very, very different. This one here can kill you. And this one here is a good edible. All right? So again, the, the Lachinum family always have the scabbing on the side. And it has a good girthy stem usually. Pours underneath. And it's usually a, a brown to a reddish uh, orange cap, typically. Although this one's a little bit not typical. All right. So anytime you see an Amanita uh, with a little bit of scabbing on top, a lot of times they, they're a little bit more red or yellow with the scabbing. And you have those white gills with the vulva. Just leave it alone. You can touch them. It will, will not hurt you uh, just by handling it. But if you ate this thing, it would destroy your liver. So uh, leave those alone. That's my recommendation.